Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How, How are, are you? you? <laughs> <laughs> Fine, <laughs> thank you. Excellent, yeah. Patricia, welcome. I'm fine too. Thank you so much for asking. Oh, okay. Good. Very good, Patricia. Welcome. Let me see, Ileana. Hello there, good, Ileana. Good evening. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Ileana. Welcome to today's class. <clears throat> How are you? I'm fine. Very good. I'm great to see you in class. <gasps> Oh, oh, oh. Let, me check. Let me check Nestor Diaz. Hello, Nestor. Oh, oh. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Nestor? I'm fine. Excellent. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Let's see, Kevin Lucero. Hello there, Kevin. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Very good. Good to see you. Welcome to today's class. Thank you. Let me see. I'm going to wait for your classmates to get into the class, everyone, because I see that we are missing a couple of classmates. Adriana. Hello there. Good evening, Adriana. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Welcome to today's class. Let me Thank see, you. who else do we have? Karen, how are you, Karen? Welcome. How are you? I'm great. Fine. You? You're fine, excellent, Karen. Welcome to today's class. All right, everyone, let me see who else do we have? I'm going to wait around maybe one minute more and then we're going to start, all right? Let me see, because it's the first class and I need to get to know all of you. Ustedes vienen de cursos anteriores, una consulta? Yes, teacher. Yes, that's very good, great. Es primera vez. Ah, es primera vez, en caso de usted diga. Excelente, very good. Sí, porque vamos a irnos manejando mucho en inglés, obviamente, ¿verdad? Si queremos aprender. But at the same time, sometimes we're going to use Spanish. Not all the times. It's just it's going to be in special cases, all right? All right, so let's just start. I'm not seeing anybody else. So here you have it. This is the PPT that we're going to use for today's class. This is content that is based on the platform, right? Now, I have some announcements to tell you before starting the class. First things first, you need to complete the platform. I believe that with more of 80%, maybe 90% or 100%. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty... I'm pretty sure actually that you need to get more than 80%, all right? That's the first announcement. The second one is that I'm going to have your names and most of the time we're going to work in here and I'm gonna call you by your names. Sometimes we're <laughs> going to work in pairs. Other times we're going to work individually, right? And if you have any questions about the platform, please let me know. I'm here to help you. That's my job and also it's my pleasure to help you. If you, by any chance or any case, you have a question about something from the platform, feel free and confident to text me. There's my cell phone. To text me, you can send me a test or something, text or something, and I'm gonna get you the answer or in better ways, I'm gonna help you, all right, in the exercise. There you have it, very good. Those are the announcements that I have for today's class. Let me see, we don't have no one else. All right, so day, today is Tuesday, August 24th, and we are going to start with section one. Please call me Beth. We are in pre-intermediate 
one, class one. I'm going to say this in Spanish for all of you, just in case we are missing something. La plataforma la tienen que comprar, compra. la tienen que complementar, I'm sorry, estoy mal en mi español. La tienen que complementar con más del 80%, más, es decir, el 90%, si fuera posible el 100%. Yo estoy para brindarles ayuda. Así que en dado caso ustedes necesiten algo, pueden escribirme en mi WhatsApp, mis, en el ejercicio do punto tal. No sé por qué me está saliendo esto mal. Yo vengo y si tengo tiempo, que obviamente aunque no lo tenga, les voy a ayudar. Eh, les busco la respuesta y trato de explicarles. Si están en a hurry, como en una apuradita, pues les voy a ayudar de un solo, right? Pero si no, les voy a explicar. Esa es una. Y número dos. Eh, ustedes pueden avanzar lo más que quieran en la plataforma. No hay ningún problema. Sí tienen que prestarle mucha atención al contenido de la plataforma porque en estas clases los vamos a desarrollar. All right? Excellent. Very good. All right. Thank you. So let's see what else do we have in here. We have this classroom language. This is pretty basic and maybe you already know, but still we need to remember. And also, I like to say that when you're learning English, you need to practice as much as you can, all right? It's never enough to practice only in class or outside the classroom. You always need to practice, all right? So let's see. I'm going to have Kevin Lucero, please. Read number one. Miss, I have a question. Mm -hmm, exactly. And then you proceed to tell me your question, right? It's okay. You don't know how to formulate the question in English. You don't know this structure, so you can say it in Spanish. But I need you to start using this kind of classroom language. Means I have a question. Means I have a doubt. Can you help me with this? Let's go with number two. Patricia, please. Miss, how do you sell tijera in English? Mm -hmm, exactly. And then I'm going to proceed to tell you the answer, right? Please, if you don't have this information on your notebooks or any device that you're using, you can copy this because you're going to use it while you are in my class, all right? And also we have question number two. It refers about any question or any vocabulary word that you want to express and you don't know how to do it. You can do it by that. How do you say tijera? How do you say botella? How do you say mochila means, right? And I'm going to help. Number three, Adriana, please. Miss, can you repeat the, that again? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Now listen, uh, sometimes I speak really fast and I understand that that could be a problem, right? And sometimes I also make some jokes, just some jokes. So if you miss something or you feel that you didn't understand something because I was like really fast, tell me, Miss, can you repeat that again? All right, and I'm going to repeat it. If it is content, it's great. If it is vocabulary, excellent. No matter what, feel free to tell me. I don't want you to miss anything from this course, all right? Let's move on. Let me check. Oh, we have more classmates. Let's see. Claudia Membreño. Hello there. Good evening. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, I'm checking that everyone is. Okay, yes. Uh -huh. Hello, teacher. Hello, um, my. Um, How are you? My computer, uh, mi computadora me está deteniendo la presentación. Mm, don't worry. Sometimes it's sí. not the computer, sometimes it's the internet, okay? So don't worry, ah, okay. I understand. Ah, okay. Right? Yes, este. excellent. It's good to see you in class. Welcome to this course. Thank you, teacher. All um, right. <laughs> uh, today is, is night nice special. Why? I see Thank you're you. really happy. <laughs> uh, is um, my my mother my mother um, 
mi mamá viene de otro país. Entonces oh, la estamos really? esperando. Por eso yeah. me conecté un poquito tarde. Excellent. Estoy un poquito no nerviosa, worry. teacher. Gracias. Yeah. Of course, obviamente va a estar nervioso si va a ver a su mami. <risa> Everyone, uh -huh. <gets> nervous. <risa> Entonces, por eso entré un poquito tarde, pero me voy a incorporar un rato. Gracias, right. teacher. Excellent, don't worry. Welcome, Claudia. Good to see you. Let's see. Galaxy at 10. <risa> I don't know your name. Can you please tell me your name? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I just see that you have Galaxy at 10. I don't know if you can tell me your name. Open your microphone. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mary. Excellent, Mary. Welcome to today's class. How are you? Uh, I am very good. And you, Miss? I'm great. I'm happy to see you. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. All right, everyone. No sé si les mencionaron. Eh, pero sería muy bueno que le pusieran su nombre al teléfono, al device, porque cuando entren al usuario de Zoom, porque si no, no me voy a aprender sus nombres. <laughs> All right, that's why. <laughs> Excellent, everyone. Let's move on. Now, listen. We have introducing yourself. Now, this is my information, and I'm going to read it for you. This is my guiding example. All right, let's see. Hello, my name is Fede. Pay attention to the pronunciation, please, because then it goes you. Hello, my name is Fede Arevalo. I am 23 years old. I am an English teacher. I live in El Salvador. I'm Salvadorian. Let's see. You can use this information, of course. You can use it. You, of course, are going to change the name, the age, and everything, right? Let's start with... Nestor, let's see, Nestor, introduce yourself. Um, hello, my my name is Nestor Diaz. I am uh, 43 years old. And uh, I am an English uh, student. I live in Santa Rosa de Lima, Salvador. All right, excellent, Nestor. Very good. Thank you. Let's go with Let's go with Patricia. Aha, uh -huh, Patricia, introduce yourself. Um, good evening everybody. Uh, my name is Patricia Herrera. Uh, I am 50 54 years old. I am a doctor and I work in um, Seguro Social mm -hmm. de Zacatecoluca. I live in San Juan Nonualco, the par Department of La Paz. And um, I like very much study English and I am happy to be here with, with you. Excellent, very really good, Patricia. <clears throat> It's great and Thank also you. really cool that you're a doctor. <laughs> All right, excellent, Patricia. Mm -hmm. Let's go with Thank you. Ileana, Ileana Margarita. Hello, everyone. And my name is Ileana de Arriola. I am 39 years old. I am a language teacher. I live in Santa Ana. I'm Salvadorian. Great, very good. Thank you. Thank you so much, Eliana. Let's go with Kevin Lucero. Hello, good evening. Uh, my name is Kevin Lucero. I'm 24 years old. I am a quality management system uh, in Ala Doradas. I live in El Salvador and I'm Salvadorian. Excellent, very really good, great. Let's go with Adriana. What you got? Uh, good evening. My name is Adriana Melgar. I am studying English in this moment. <laughs> I live in Mexicanos. Um, um, 
My favorite color is green. Um, only this. Only that, excellent, very really good. It's good that you have extra information. Let's go with Claudia. Let's see, Claudia, introduce yourself. Hello, uh, my name is Claudia Membreño. I am 51 years old and I am English, I, I am psychology and a teacher um, and teacher for psychology. I live in San Salvador. I am Salvadorian in my favorite color is is blue and green and I am happy today. I am happy today uh, for with with you with my no me acuerdo cómo se dice mis compañeros de clase. Estoy Class contenta mate. con mis compañeros de clase. <laughs> Gracias, teacher. Thank I'm you. With your classmates. Excellent. Very really good, Claudia. Let's go with Mary. Mary. <laughs> Let's see, Mary. Okay. Hey, hello. My name is Mary Vanega. Uh, I am 25 years old. Uh, I am in um, Salvador. I live in, in Ilo Vasco. Um, I work in um, secretary in the Paris. My favorite color is yellow. And I'm very happy today. Excellent, very good, Mary. Excellent, thank you. Let's see, Karen, Karen H. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Karen Hernandez. I am 26 years old. I am secretary University Universidad Tecnológica. Mm -hmm. I my favorite color is black. Excellent, very really good. Thank you, Karen. Let's go. I don't know if Veronica, Veronica, did you already introduce yourself or not? Let's see, Veronica. Yes. Yes, you already introduced yourself. Okay. Uh -huh. Veronica is um <laughs> one question for you guys. Did you already know each other? No? Ya han estado juntos en otros cursos? Um no. I am, no, I am no, working, teacher. I am working in Utec, uh, uh, Utec uh, with Veronica. Um, um, That's what you meant. I, I need she. I need. I need. I need. I need she. Necesito ver la quién es Veronica. A lo mejor. Let's see. Let's see. No, Veronica. Veronica no de la cámara, Usted no se había introducido. Sí, Veronica. <laughs> okay. Hello, my name is Veronica Ramira. I am 29 years old. I am in Cobra Banco Promerica. I live in, in Ayutuxepeque and in Salvador. Excellent. Really good. Excellent, Veronica. Thank you to be in class. All right, everyone. Now, that we get to know a little bit each other is great, right? Because as I told you at the beginning, we're going to work most of the time in pairs. Let's see, we have double H questions. This is just to start, right? And this is pretty basic. And also at the same time, it could be complicated. All right, it says, I'm going to have, Patricia, help me please read this information. Your microphone, my friend. Sorry. <laughs> they okay. are called double H question because this question begins with W H. Excellent. There you go. Basic, simple as that, right? This question starts with double H, and that's why they are called double H. Most of the time, these questions 
are used to get information or personal information about someone. Let's see okay. what examples do we have. Ah, are you going? If you're going to copy this, okay. you can do it. All right. Okay. By the way, you're going to have a notebook. You need to have a notebook and a pencil mm -hmm. or a, or anything that you're going to use to write because sometimes you're going to have extra information here. And I think you're, it's going to be helpful for you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see, let's move on. We have a guiding examples, right? In my PPTs, you are going to notice that most of the time we have guiding examples. And this is because when I'm adding information, I need you to have the complete picture, right? I need you to have examples and also extra information. Let's see, what do we have in the green chart, Mary? The guiding examples, please. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? I found. Mary, can you please read it? The guiding examples? You have examples. The guiding examples, uh -huh, please. This one, the yellow. Those I don't guiding want to examples? Say. Los ejemplos que tenemos aquí, Mary? What? 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 Okay, okay. What, where, when, why, which, who. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Mary. Claudia. Read this information, read these questions, please. Um, where are you from? Mm -hmm. um, where, when are you living? What are, where, what are you doing? Why, why, we, why are you so happy? Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer, see, cold? Or hot weather, 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 weather. Okay. Who's your friend? Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Now listen, everyone. Thank, well, you. thank you so much, Claudia. Excellent. Um, I use this methodology in which sometimes when we made a mistake in the pronunciation of a word, I'm going to tell you please repeat three times. Okay. I'm a firm believer that if you repeat as much as you can one word, you're gonna learn it. Your brain is going to achieve the pronunciation and everything. So that's why if sometimes we make a mistake, for example, we say friend instead of friend, I'm going to tell you, please repeat friend three times, all right? So every time that you listen these words from my mouth, repeat three times this word you are going to do it all right because that's pretty easy when we are practicing now if you don't have this information please copy this on your notebooks take notes you're gonna use them later and also you're going to use them tomorrow Miss, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Tell me. In the number two, mm -hmm. when are you leaving? Uh -huh. uh, what's the meaning? When is cuando? Mm -hmm. Are you leaving? Cuando estás viviendo? No, leaving. Ah. Uh -huh. ah. <laughs> are you leaving? See, Thank in you. English. We Thank have you, something, uh -huh. we have something, I'm going to explain this, this is extra <laughs> for you to know it, okay? En inglés tenemos algo que se llama minimal pairs, eso es ya otro nivel, bien advanced, en el cual se explica que los minimal pairs son las palabras que suenan igual a otras, pero no se escriben igual. For example, hair de ella, hair, all right? 
they are similar in the pronunciation, but they are not the same. That's why, right? Leave it. Say, sí, thank you. You're welcome. Siempre les voy a recomendar que copien la mayoría del contenido que les pongan las PPTs. ¿Por qué? Yo en mi programa tengo algo que se llama preguntarles qué recuerdan de la clase anterior. Y si yo les pregunto algo y no me lo contestan y es contenido que vimos en la clase anterior, you know what's gonna happen, right? <ríe> no, no le va a pasar nada. Pero sí, pues, pueden tener ese vocabulary on your notebook as an extra information. Así no me dicen, ay, mis, no sé, porque esto ya lo vimos en la clase. All right? There you have. All right. Let me know when you're finished. Ready. Finish. Finish. Very good. Let's move on. Where are you from? Let's see. In El Salvador? Of course. I am from El Salvador. That's the country. I'm Salvadorian. That's my nationality, Salvadorian. Same as in Spanish, right? Same thing. But in English? We have the structure in English, but the name won't change. I won't say I am from El Salvador. No, you don't need to say it that way. You can say I am from El Salvador. Easy, piece of cake. Now we have some other countries and nationalities. Let's practice. I'm going to have Veronica, please, read the information about Brazil. I am from... Brazil, I'm Brazilian. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Let's see. Adriana, what about Japan? I am from Japan. I'm Japanese. Excellent. There you have it. Ileana, what about Australia? I'm from Australia. I'm Australian. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Karen, what about South Africa? I'm from South Africa. I am South Africa. Mm -hmm. Excellent, there you have it. Thank you, Karen. All right, everyone. These are countries and nationalities. Of course, we have a plenty of countries and nationalities, right? We're not going to learn them all today because that's pretty long. But this is for you to get into the business, okay? Like an introduction in that part. Let's move on. Let's see what else do we have. We have subject pronouns. Let's see. Nestor, please tell me the subject pronouns. I, you, he, 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 we, they. Excellent, very good, thank you. Kevin, read the statements with me. I'm from El Salvador. You're from Mexico. She is from Australia. He is from Brazil. It is beautiful city. We are from the United Kingdom. They are from the United States. Excellent, really good. Now let's pay attention to this part. And I did this on purpose. Sometimes, um, Thank you so much, Kevin. We can believe that when we are doing any exercises on the platform, the platform has any mistakes. And that's not the case. Sometimes we omit or we are missing adding the dot or the period, right? So you need to be careful with this, all right? If the platform asks you something with capitals, or let's suppose you are starting a sentence, you must start with capitals, right? Don't forget that. And also, if you are completing, for example, in this one, and I'm telling you this as a helpful guide from the platform. Let's suppose you have this like exercise, right? And you are going to complete this one, you know, with from, right? But you write it this way, that's not correct, all right? <clears throat> so the platform is going to tell you, uh-uh, 
your sentence is not working. And I'm telling you this because last course, I'd had a little bit of issues with this part in which sometimes people get confused by adding capital to everything. La mayúscula no va con todo, right? Especialmente si estamos completando parte del medio de la oración, we cannot do it with capitals. And I'm telling you this for you don't have mistakes with the platform. All right, thank you, let's move on. We have contractions with being. Let's see, Eliana, please help me with the contractions. I am, you're, you are, she's, she is, his, he is, it's, it is, where, where, where are, there, they are. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Thank, Thank you, you, Elena. Now in this one, the pronunciation is word, of course, because it's a contraction, right? But in here, we're always going to say we are, okay? When it's separate, we won't change the pronunciation. Let's change to somebody else. Let's see, Adriana, tell me the contractions with me. Um, I am. You, you are. Cheese, cheese. His, he is. It's, it is. Where, we are. There, they are. Excellent. Thank you, Adriana. Claudia Membreño, tell me the contractions with me. Uh, I'm, I'm, I am. You're, you are, she's, she is, he's, he is, it's, it is, where we are, there they are. Excellent, very good. All right, let's make, let's keep an eye on this one. Thank you, Claudia. Let's keep an eye on this one. This one alone is the subject, right? What is this? Verb. The verb to be. Excellent. The verb Very to be. Good. Very good. How many verbs do we have in verb to be? Three forms. Um, is R. Excellent. Very good. Yeah, I wanted to check if we are not getting confused in this part. Excellent. Now, let's see. I'm gonna ask Veronica. Veronica, tell me the contractions with B, please. I am your, you are, she's, she is, his, he is, it, it is, where we are, they, they are. Excellent, thank you. Nestor, your turn. Tell me the contractions with B. Uh, I, I am, you are, you are, he, 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 where are, where they are, they are. Excellent, thank you. And last but not least, Mary, tell me the contractions with me. I, I am, you, you are, she, she is, he, he is, it, it is, where we are, they, they are. Excellent, thank you. All right, everyone, let's move on. Then I'm gonna check that later with the other ones. Thank you, Mary. And of course, when we are learning subjects and verb to be, we also need to know Possessive adjectives. Let's see. What do we have in possessive adjectives, Patricia? My, your, his, her, its, our, their. 
Excellent, thank you. Let's see. Karen Hernandez, please. Possessive adjectives. My, your, his, her, it, all, they. Okay, excellent. Let's repeat in this one, Karen, our. Karen? Mande? Repeat after me, our. Our. Mm -hmm. Three times, please. Our. Mm -hmm. Another time? Our. Excellent. My, your, his, it, our, they. Excellent. There you have it. All right. Now, let's see. Before passing to somebody else, let's see if we remember. Patricia, tell me the subject pronouns. Um, the subject pronouns. No están uh, aquí. Ahorita, lo es, ahorita estoy viendo cómo... ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Si nos acordamos? ¿O qué? I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. Excellent, bravo. All right, so what are the contractions that we have in, with verb to be, Patricia? I'm, I am, you, you are, he's, she, uh, he is, she's, she is. It, it's, it is. Where we are. There they are. Excellent, bravo, very good. What are the possessive adjectives that we have? My, you, her, his, our, their, it's all right excellent there you have it very good let's see kevin what are the subject pronouns that we have i you he she it and they and nosotros we, we, we. We. Excellent. Uh -huh. what are the contractions with b that we have kevin um your, his, she's, uh, it's, they are, we are, we're, we're. Excellent, very good. All right, and now tell me the possessive adjectives. My, your, his, her, our, their, it's. Excellent, very good, very good. Let's see, Claudia. Tell me the possessive adjectives, Claudia Membrino. I am. Possessive I am. adjectives? I, pos I, I don't know. You, you don't remember it's possessive a, adjectives? I know. You don't know. Let's see. What about these ones, Claudia? Ah, uh, my, you, you, his. Hair, it's our day. <laughs> Excellent, very really good. What about <laughs> subject pronouns, Claudia? Pronouns, I am. Mm -hmm. Subject pronouns. Ahí me está dando contractions with me. Yo quiero los subject I pronouns. I, teacher. <laughs> Yo no sé por qué me confundo. It happens. <laughs> Pasa. You? Okay. you. I, you, they, I, you, she, he, it, it, um, you, they, we. All right, excellent, really good, yes, indeed. All right, let's see, Mary. Thank you, Claudia. Let's see, Mary, tell me the contractions with me. I am. Uh... You are, he is, the contractions, is, the contractions, the contractions, he is, she is, I am, 
You are. Mm -hmm. she let's see. Is. Let's see, my friend. It. These ones are the contraction. Um. Okay. Okay. Um. Your. Your. She. He. It. We. They. All right. Those are subject pronouns. Vamos a explicar eso. Los subject pronouns are these ones, right? Solitos, solitos, solo son subject pronouns. I, los que usted me estaba mencionando. I, you, she, he, it, we, and they. Solitos. When we say contractions with be, we meant to say that they have the verb to be after the subject. And when do we have this contraction? That's when it's called contractions with be, right? Um, your, she's, his, it's, where, their. All right? Excellent. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Excellent. Let's go with the last one, Adriana. Let's see, Adriana. Um, tell me the possessive adjectives. My, your, um, his, no, her, sí, her, his, uh, it, uh, your, um, they. Very good, excellent. <laughs> Don't get nervous. Let's see, what about subject pronouns, Adriana? I, you, she, he, he, we, they. Excellent, very good. Eliana, I haven't asked you, right? Todavía no le he preguntado, ¿verdad, Eliana? No. Excellent. Let's see. So tell me, my friend Eliana, what are the contractions with B? Um, I'm. Mm -hmm. Your. Mm -hmm. She's. His. It's. Where. There. Excellent, very good. All right, thank you, everyone. Now, as you already know, the possessive adjectives and all those things, let's work on these exercises with possessive adjectives. Let's try to complete at least this one on your notebooks, because then I'm going to ask you, all right? Complete these exercises on your notebook. Please remember that sometimes we substitute the possessive adjectives by name, right? For example, if we see Lisa, we know that we are talking about a her. We're not talking about his, we're not talking about its, we're talking about her. Sometimes, no, not sometimes, most of the times we use its with animals, objects, and different things, right? So just to keep in mind.
Finish. It sounds really good. Somebody else who has finished? Teacher, I did finish only the first line. So uh, only these ones. Okay, so finish these ones also, please. One more minute. All right, let's start the sharing part. 
Let's see. Finish. Finish teacher. Excellent, Patricia. Excellent. Let's see, my dear students. The boys lights, Patricia. The boys lights his school. The boy, excellent, very good. The boy likes his school. Excellent, thank you. Mary, Lisa sees. Lisa, she, he, Seria, she is mother every day. Uh -huh. Let's see. Lisa sí es una she, pero ¿cuál sería mi possessive adjective aquí? Porque yeah. Lisa, el, el, yeah. el nombre Lisa, ajá. Yeah. Her. Lisa, see ajá. her mother every day. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Lisa hace la sustitución del subject pronoun plus, uh, no, only a subject pronoun, she, right? Very good. Pero necesitamos su posesivo. <laughs> Excellent. Very good, Mary. Thank you. What about my teacher's ring, Kevin? My teacher's brings their lunch to school. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very really good. Adriana, the cat eats its... The cat eats its food. Please. Yes, exactly. Yes. Very good. Keep an eye on this one, everyone. Thank you, Adriana. It's great. No podemos poner his or her. No sabemos en realidad cuál es el género de gato. Y estamos hablando también de la comida. So we use its food, right? Thank you, Adriana. Very good. Let's go with Veronica. I often forget... I often forget it's Kate. Mm, but I'm talking about me. I? I often forget my K. Kiss. Excellent. Repeat after me, Veronica. Kiss. Repeat. Kiss. Sorry? Kiss. Kiss. Next. Thank you, Veronica. Let's go with Nestor. You write in. No, I'm sorry, teacher. Estaba escribiendo. No, no. No había terminado. No. Let's see. Let's see. Don't worry. I understand. But tell me this one. You write in. No, I, I don't know. You don't know. Let's see, Nestor. Let's work together. If I have you as a subject, which one of these possessive adjectives could I use? Uh, you are? Mm -hmm, exactly. You write in your notebook. Okay? Because that's basically the comparison that we have when using subject pronouns. You have the possessive adjectives next to them and they are similar. Thank you, Nestor, very good. Karen Hernandez, we bring? We bring our pencil to class. All right, our, our pencils to class. We bring our pencil to class. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. Let's see. I have my friend in here, Eliana. The parents always take? The parents always take their kids. Mm -hmm. Their kids? ¿A dónde? Uh, eh, no, 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 no alcanzo a ver. Ah, oh, you don't see very well, okay? No. Uh, the parents, the parent, parents always take their kids to school. Mm -hmm. 
Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mary, John teaches. John teaches in our class in the morning. Okay, John teaches. If we're talking about John, what is John? He's. Mm -hmm, exactly. John teaches his class he's, in the morning. Okay, John teaches his class in the morning. Repeat after me, teaches. Esta es la acción. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Teaches. Teaches. Excellent. Thank you, Mary. Let's see. The last, well, the last one for today's class. Let me see. I'm going to have Veronica. Kelly likes to give presents to? Kelly likes to present her, her friends. Her friends, excellent. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for attending to class. We're going to finish in here tomorrow. We're gonna continue developing these exercises. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, please don't forget that you can text me. Ustedes recibieron un correo donde pueden formar parte del grupo de WhatsApp. Pueden escribirme, ahí está mi número privado. Pueden escribirme cuando tengan alguna duda, consulta. O oh, mire mis, esto no me salió bien en el ejercicio. ¿Por qué? Si lo estoy poniendo bien. All right. Cualquier cosa me escriben a mi chat privado. All right. All right, everyone. Take care. Have a pleasant night. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye, teacher. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, Bye. teacher. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.